You ever do something that you know is pointless, but also pretty cool? Yeah, me too. With this thing. To the untrained eye, it may just look like a phone that's connected to a laptop, but oh, you'd be wrong. This is much dumber. Okay, well then what is it? So a while ago, I did a video on this a laptop. It's actually not a laptop. It's a next dock, and it's basically just a portable screen with a keyboard and trackpad. That's right, no processor in here. So without a device connected to it, it's basically just a paperweight. In this video though, we clearly have a phone connected to it. Why? Well, if you have a slightly modern Samsung phone, you have access to something called Samsung DeX, which essentially lets you connect your phone to a display via USB, HDMI, or even wirelessly, and get access to a desktop-like experience. You can see where we're going with this. Connecting my Samsung Galaxy S21 5G to the next dock with a single USB-C cable turns this not a laptop into still not a laptop, but slightly more laptop-like device. I even put this sticky pouch thing on the back to make it a bit more aesthetic. This would be my first time actually using DeX, but it's not like I've never heard of it before. From what I've heard, it's come a long way since it was first introduced in 2017 and is actually a usable experience. I confirm this to be true. My first impressions were, yeah, it looks like what you'd expect a desktop version of Android to look like, which really isn't a bad thing, but don't expect it to compare to something like Mac OS or Windows or your favorite version of Linux. Freaking nerds. Now at this point, there are two major players to how this experience with DeX is gonna go. There's DeX itself, obviously, and then there's the physical hardware, i.e. how is it to physically use on here? DeX is honestly pretty freaking cool. You can basically run any app that you have on your phone, but in a desktop environment. With Android having been a mature mobile operating system for so many years and hosting an app store with over three and a half million apps, it's not surprising that you can actually get stuff done on here. There are the easy things like web browsing with Chrome, consuming media with one of the 462 streaming apps, and basic work tasks like sending emails, working on spreadsheets, and calling HR on Susan. However, in DeX, this is a much better experience than on your phone, especially with the multitasking. We have proper windowing of apps on here with the ability to maximize, resize, move windows around, snap to the sides, minimize, and even hover over the app in the taskbar for a preview. We even have multi-touch gesture controls. This may seem like pretty normal stuff, but considering it's running on a phone as a completely different UI than the main operating system, I think it's pretty impressive. I tried playing some games on here and it was a pretty subpar experience. Most mobile games are made for touch controls with some also having decent controller support, neither of which this does very well. In simple tap the screen style games, it's fine as you can use the trackpad or even touch the screen, but anything that requires more finesse controls is gonna be a bad time. Moral of the story, if you were looking to get this set up to pwn noobs, um, don't just go touch some grass instead. In terms of how DeX is to use on the next doc, it's really not too bad. I've been writing this entire script on here while watching YouTube, and there were some times where I actually forgot that I was on Frankenstein's laptop. It is a little smaller than I'm used to sporting a 13 inch 1080p display, as I typically use a big, meaty 16 inch MacBook Pro, but sometimes it's fun to use something smaller. Just ask my wife. She uses a 13 inch Surface Book. The keyboard feels decent enough, just a basic membrane setup with decent travel, but the trackpad is uh, pretty bad. There was a time when this trackpad would be considered average on even a flagship Windows laptop, but in 2023, this is cheeks. So yeah, as a laptop replacement, I think it's actually doable, but we have another trick up our sleeves. We're gonna run both Windows and Mac OS on here, kind of. We are going to be using a software called Parsec to remotely connect to our other machines and control them directly from here. I've done a full video on Parsec a while ago and how to set it up as a cloud gaming system if you wanna go check that out. I use a Windows PC as my main workstation for editing and with Parsec and a Wake on LAN app, I can both turn on my PC and control it directly from this thing. And man, the performance 
is actually great. Now, this will be dependent on your network, but with a Wi-Fi 6 connection, uh, video quality is pretty fantastic and the latency is very minimal. Now, I am legit able to do real editing on here and when I get bored, it's extremely usable for gaming. Since Parsec now supports Mac OS as a host device, that also means I can do the same for my MacBook. You have to admit, this is pretty cool. Running a desktop operating system on my phone while being able to get work done in both Windows and Mac OS. This is where we hit our wall though. Remember, I did say that yes, this is actually cool, but it's pointless. If you don't see why, let me explain my reasoning. First off, the space. This setup doesn't actually save you any space when traveling around. It's not like this replaces a laptop or is much smaller than a laptop. So at that point, just use your laptop. But Brett, what about the people who don't have a laptop? This would be perfect for them. I mean, that target audience is maybe like six people in the entire world. If this was a Venn diagram, we'd have the people that don't have a laptop, people that need a laptop, and people that have a Samsung phone, and people that would be comfortable with using this thing full time. In terms of price, it's not a terrible deal at $280, assuming you already have the phone. I'm not gonna pretend like you can get some super powerful laptop for that price, but I'm also not gonna pretend you can't get a usable laptop for that price. And that will run an actual real operating system. And for my use case where I'm remoting into my more powerful, more capable machine with Parsec, it's not exclusive to this setup. I can do the same thing on a $100 Chromebook. And that is why I consider this pointless. Overall, do I recommend this? No. I mean, if you wanna do it, go ahead. I think it's cool and there are some niche situations where it could serve a purpose, but if you're replicating this in an attempt to replace an actual laptop, you're just being a silly willy. At the end of the day though, it's still cool. I enjoyed trying it out and I'm probably never gonna use it again after I'm done filming this video. Let me know down in the comments if you can think of any other use cases for this setup. Get creative with it. Best idea wins 16 raid owl points. But that's all I have. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like stuff like this, then um, hit subscribe and consider your life choices. I wanna give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my super cool mobile laptop like uh, cutie patootie little support system. Heart emoji. And if you're still watching, heart emoji for you too. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.